In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the layer mask. The layer mask icon and where you apply a layer mask is in the layers palette. It's right down here in the bottom next to effects and it's a little square with a circle in it and we'll see how that works in a moment. I have set up here a blank document. In this case, I've used 11 by 17 and I have this image of a mannequin, fashion mannequin wearing sort of a great feathered outfit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move her to my blank canvas and scale her up using my transform control keys. Remember I have my handles selected up at the top using the move tool show transform controls as checked so that allows me to transform the image and by holding down shift I can do it in a proportionate way. Now I'm going to go to the back to the background, choose black from my foreground, and I'm going to hit option, delete, which will paint or color in whatever layer or selection I have with the foreground color. So that's, that's done. And now I'm going to go back to her layer, and what I want to do is I want to create another layer, a copy of her. So I'm going to hit command J. This is Mac commands, by the way. And that gives me another copy of her layer. So on this top layer, I am going to apply some sort of filter. In this case, I'm going to use a pixelated mosaic filter because I have some idea that I'm going to create a, an image for a poster that would, would has sort of to do with digital age. So I'm going to say OK. So right now, it's pretty basically something I don't even know what it is anymore. It's so pixelated. But in a moment, you'll see why we're doing this. Now the basic function of the layer mask is this. Black reveals the layer that's underneath and white replaces it. So I'm going to go to this top copy and we're, we're working from layer one down because it always reveals the under layer and I'm going to add the layer mask. I'm going to click and it puts a box up in that layer and now I'm going to test my theory. I'm going to grab a brush, a fairly large brush and I'm going to, using black in my forefront, I'm going to paint over this image and it should reveal what's underneath. And there it is. And you're probably wondering why can't you just use the eraser to do this? Well, you could, except what do you do if you go too far? You can't put it back. And plus there's other things that you can do with a layer mask that wouldn't work this way. So I'm going to switch colors now and choose white and you'll see that it replaces. So black reveals or erases the top layer and white replaces. But in this case, I'm not going to use the brush to reveal the layer underneath. I'm going to use the gradient tool because the gradient tool is a color tool and it works using black and white in this case, just like or any color. But in this case, we have to use black and white and it will feather my reveal very slightly. So if I just use the gradient tool and I drag it across her face, you see that I reveal the crisp sharp side and it feathers to the pixelated side and you can go from the other direction and the nice part about the gradation tool is that it resets itself every time so you don't have to do anything if you want to try it again. You can continually do this until you get the effect you want and that's the effect I want right there. I want it to go from a very sharp crisp image into a very pixelated image and now I'm going to add a text to this using Futura medium, I'm going to write, oops, using white, obviously, or some color that you can see. Little play on words, digital inspiration in the fashion age. And this could be the basis of a poster. And there you have it. There's the layer mask used at its basic level, um, black revealing, white replacing, and there's so many things you can do with it. A layer mask can be used with two different images, not the same image with one filtered. It can be used with a color and, and black and white photograph. It can be used with so many things. And its basic functions are very simple. I hope that helped.